But if I go somewhere with a pole, I'll give it a go. Oh, right. And have you just celebrated a birthday last week, and I understand? Mm hmm. Was it, did you have a good party? I had a very good party. We've got a lot of people turning up, a lot of good friends, yourself included, and drunk far too much alcohol, staggered around the dance floor pretending to dance, and got poured into a taxi at about quarter past six in the morning. Oh, do you early bird? Mm. That doesn't matter. You've got to keep your looks and have your beauty <laughs> sleep. If you're like me, you to... at work, I assume they don't know nothing about this side of your life. Some do, some don't. I wonder how have you found the general public with them, or your workmates? Uh, well, the ones that know about it are the ones that I think would understand it, and the ones that don't know about it don't need to know about it. Oh, so you pick and choose who you tell. Mm -hmm. And um, we've had a terrible things happening lately. We've been hearing about people being outed. Um, you're in danger that because I know you've got a respectable job. So you don't want that sort of thing to happen. Well, I don't think I'd be completely devastated. It, it wouldn't be the end of the world if you know it came out in work that that's what you do, or this is what you do. Well, if they haven't guessed already, then they're not very good at their jobs. Because you're very well known because you are the door person, for want of a better thing, at Transmission. Mm -hmm. Which has been going for how long? It's coming up to five years in June. And you've been there from the start? No, I started there in September 2003. 80-90% of the people that go there are tea girls, although everyone's welcome as long as they're friendly and uh, accepting of us. I work the door, I meet and greet people as they come in, make sure they're happy and comfortable, answer any questions they may have. Uh, I've been doing that for quite a while now. It's good fun job, it's once a month. Uh, we're in the process at the moment of moving venues and we're having a big relaunch on the 2nd of June. Right, so have you got that in? When you go there, <coughs> excuse me, you are virtually in charge because everybody comes up to you. Mm -hmm. well, and I even wear skirts. Yes, so I noticed that as well. That was a, a nice change. <laughs> you see you in a skirt, I couldn't believe it. I felt absolutely civilised. Well, it's not a fetish club. It's a club where the... Yeah. Girls just happen to be a little bit taller than usual. And admirers come there, but very mm -hmm. few. Yes, uh, there is a general perception that it's not for admirers. However, that's not the case. Everyone's welcome. Uh, we'd like to see more guys there, and I hope when we relaunch in June, we'll have a few more there. Yeah, because if, whether you're into guys or not, if you've got an happy mixture of mm -hmm. boys and girls, you do get the spontaneity and you get It's a nicer atmosphere, yes. Yeah. Whereas when... You get a lot of girls in. I find, you correct me if I'm wrong, but they, it's a hell of a lot of posing. Uh, well, I think you can get a lot of that on the trans scene wherever you go. I don't think transmission's any worse or any better than anywhere else for that. Uh, and I don't think having guys around makes it any better or worse. It's just the nature of the scene. Is there anything else you've done that's more like the scene? Uh, well, I do quite a bit of fetish modelling. Uh, in sort of various outfits for various people. I've appeared on several websites and I always enjoy being in front of a camera. People uh, come along with a little brownie camera and say, you know, do it or book you for that. Uh, most of the time I tend to do photo shoots for friends, although I have done photo shoots for strangers beforehand. Oh, you have no problem with that? You know, no, I'm quite happy to do that. Stick it, a camera in front of me and I'm happy. Well, that's what we always say when we're looking for you. You can't find Sarah, look for a camera. Mm -hmm. She's in front of it. Mm -hmm. Where do you buy your costumes? Or do you make them? I don't make them myself. Sadly, I don't have those skills. I get them from various dancewear, gymnastics, fancy dress manufacturers and tend to spend quite a large amount of my budget on buying new outfits from those. Are they easily obtainable? 